Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon here and we've got, well, it's the second to last episode of Game of Thrones, it's the fifth episode of Season 8, and hopefully it's going to be better than the last episode. Um, I'm not normally one to bash anything really, unless it really, really deserves it, and I've been very alright with this season so far, the first three episodes, um, very kind of solid in my opinion especially the second episode i thought it was really really good the interaction between characters not perfect i mean not everything has been brilliant so far last episode was really the first time when i kind of looked at an episode of game of thrones and i thought mm, that wasn't great that wasn't really what i would have expected there was lots of plot holes there was lots of inconsistencies there was a lot of stuff that just didn't make sense a lot of poor writing um, just a few of the things, really, you would say, King's Landing, changing location, there's now a desert, apparently, outside of King's Landing, where rather than it being surrounded on three sides by water and one side by hills and mountains, it's been shown in the past. Um, Rhaegal's death was inexplicable, really, um, you know, the idea of that kind of accuracy was a joke, um, and then the fact that, you know, Euron didn't then go and storm Dragonstone and, and kill everyone was a bit off-putting. Um, and then the end scene, you know, with the, um, the the sort of parlay, there was like literally 70 men against an untold number of ballasters, uh, or scorpions as they call them. Um, they could have all just very easily died, you know. Cersei is the person who sent out Bronn to kill her brothers. And yet when she's got Tyrion right in front of her, she doesn't want him killed. It didn't really make much sense. Um, but the biggest the biggest affront of the episode was, was Ghost. Not getting, uh, not even a pat on the head. The best boy of Winterfell, who has been Jon's faithful companion through this entire saga, got nothing more than a slight nod as Jon left Winterfell to go south. That was something that really irritated me more and more as time went on. And especially having read the response from one of the producers uh, through the week who said that it was too difficult because of the CGI. You know, these motherfuckers who animate dragons, they had a dragon die in the same episode. I saw a dragon spew blood out of its mouth while toppling down into the sea. And yet... You know, they even they even CGI'd in the scorpions that were on top of the, the the walls. You know, if you go and look at the inside of the episode featurette on on that you know particular episode, it shows you how much they CGI'd stuff, and it was a shit ton of it. So for them to say that they didn't let Ghost have a proper goodbye with John because the CGI was too difficult, absolute bullshit. Um, and they also scaled Ghost down in size. There's just a lot of inconsistencies, and and you know. I don't like bashing a show and I don't want to get off on a negative start here basically because I know that that's the popular thing to do. The popular thing is to always bash on stuff and I don't want to do that because I love Game of Thrones. I think it's a great show. It's one of my all-time favorites and I'm really hoping they finish the season strong but I do worry about where they're going with this. Um, you know, the, the, they're trying to foreshadow like the Mad Queen Daenerys and I really don't want that because it, it would be really cheap and I think that it wouldn't be fair to the character I, I don't think that you can have her just go completely mad in the space of a couple of episodes you know they basically built everything up for her in the first six seasons just for her to get then lose it so she could go mad it, it doesn't feel right um you know you look like someone like says he says he has been mad from the start but it escalates bit by bit every season that's how you do a mad queen you don't just be like hey Here's a, here's a big army, here's a lot of friends, here's some dragons. Oh, they're all gone in the space of a season. You're now mad. That's not quite how you do it. So, um, I don't know. We're expecting big things. This is apparently one of the biggest episodes ever. Um, bigger than the third episode, apparently. We're going to see. Um, I don't know what to expect. I don't know whether we're going to get conclusions to the majority of the storylines in this episode. And in the last episode, we kind of have an epilogue. Really, not much is going to be known about this. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. Let's see what happens and let's hope for the best. We both know what she's about to do. Do we? 
That's her decision to make. She is our queen. Men decide what power is. John, ours. come on. Whether or not they know it. I can't believe that John would advocate burning millions or thousands. The right ruler on the Iron Throne. Oh shit! Is he gonna tell? John Snow. No. Clarice. Tyrion. He knows the truth about John. He does. That could destroy your own queen. And you did not let her down. Oh, God. I really don't like this. If I have failed you, my queen, forgive me. Our intentions were good. We wanted what you want. A better world. All of us. Barris is now gone. Which is so stupid. After all this time. Is anyone going to say anything? It was me. Yeah, you're a fucking idiot, Tyrion. And you've gone I from being one of my favourite characters I hope I'm wrong. to being someone who I honestly don't care if lives or dies. Goodbye, old friend. What did I say would happen if you told your sister? I don't want it, and that's what I told him. She betrayed your trust. She killed Varys as much as I did. This is a victory for her. Now she knows what happens when people hear the truth about you. Far more people in Westeros love you than love me. And you wonder why? I don't have love here. I only have fear. And what about John's love? Yeah. And you will always be my queen. But she doesn't care about that, John. Is that all I am to you? Your queen. No, he literally just said he loves you. Isn't this a familiar sight? Jamie in chains in an encampment. A Stark encampment. How did they find you? Golden hand. Did you consider taking it off? Cersei once called me the stupidest Lannister. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. This is definitely a goodbye scene. You were all I had. <laughs> and they're all going to be burned alive. Shit, how did they get inside? Did they just teleport inside? How did they get past the Golden Company? How did they get past... All of the Lannisters? Do you think a hood's just gonna hide the hound? He's like a good foot taller than everyone else. That's no seagull. Oh shit, that's moving fast. But that's a lot of ships. Oh, 
Well. They did. They all did. Yeah, so Drogon's just gonna burn fuck out of all those turrets. But I'm glad I don't want Drogon to die. So that's the back of the city then? And they can't hear that. Holy shit! Okay! Whoa! Ah! Pretty boy is dead. Gates are open, boys. In you go. Grey Worm was the one to do it. This is just going to be so one-sided, isn't it? It's going to be so... I mean, there is a part of me that absolutely loves the fact... Oh! Loves of seeing Stark men storming the capital, you know? Bit of old justice for, uh... Ned Stark. And the bell's gonna ring. Come on, Jamie. Yeah. Ooh. Is she gonna burn them all anyway? And with that, end your reign, Cersei. Is she going to go and burn the Red Keep? Wouldn't surprise me. Go and burn that to keep it down. Oh shit! What happened to the surrender bells? What is she doing? Right. This is so... fucked up. I get that they're angry and all that, but do they not remember why they're here? Ooh, that was gruesome. Oh shit, that... Whoa! Oh fucking hell, that's so gruesome. Alright. As much as the motivation sucks, I'm in it for the gore. But... No, this is wrong. This does not make sense. I do not. This is not the way I wanted it. 